Hello, this training will show you how to use billing trailers to update missing billing information electronically. In order to access the billing trailers page and resolve your requests for billing information in real time, click one of these links. The trailers will be grouped by account number and can be sorted using the client selection. Click the account tile. The trailers are sorted alphabetically. Ten trailers at a time are displayed by default. Adjust the number displayed or page to see more if needed. The search field can also be used to limit the displayed trailers to only those with data matching what you've entered, such as a physician name or a payer. To resolve an individual trailer, click anywhere on the row for that record. Once trailers are resolved, they will appear in the Resolved Trailers tab. Let's walk through resolving a few different types of trailers. The header will display exactly what needs to be addressed. These items are links, which, when clicked, will take you to the corresponding section. Fields underlined in red require editing because they are missing information or contain invalid information. To resolve this trailer, the ordering physician's national provider ID needs to be entered. Information needs to be corrected or updated in the Responsible Party section. In this case, a valid insurance ID is needed. Either fill in the missing information or correct the invalid information. In the case of missing insurance carrier information, type the insurance name and choose from the list. Trailers with diagnosis as the error category might display a message indicating that no diagnosis codes were provided for the date of service, like this case. If any diagnosis codes are currently associated with the order, they will display here for your review. Provide any additional diagnosis information that is in the patient's chart for the state of service. Type a valid code in the Diagnosis Code field, then press Enter or click the arrow to search. To resolve trailers for limited coverage tests, first find the test or tests in the service summary with a Y under the LCP flag. Locate any additional diagnosis information in the patient's chart for that date of service. Then type the code in the Diagnosis Code field Press Enter or click the arrow to add the code. Then click LCP Validation. You'll see a validation message if the code satisfies the policy. To look up specific limited coverage policy details by test, click the LCP Lookup button. If, during your review, you determine that there are no additional diagnosis codes for the date of service, or if the diagnosis codes you add do not resolve the LCP flag, you can select No New Diagnosis Codes from the Additional Notes drop-down list. Other ways you might use the Additional Notes option are to indicate that there's no new information available for this record, or if the order should be billed to the patient. When you are finished reviewing the order and making updates, click Submit. You will receive a message that the information has been successfully updated. You can now click Next to advance to the next trailer, or click Return to Summary to resolve other trailers. Regardless of the error category or an action taken on a trailer, all submitted information will be processed in the Quest Diagnostics billing system within 24 to 36 hours. We hope that this video has helped you utilize the trailer application and that this process is beneficial to your practice. If you have questions or need additional assistance, please click the Contact Us link. Thank you for viewing this recording.